everyone, welcome back to the Watch With Us channel. As many of you may recall, back in February, I did a video with my good friend Spanish Rob where we talked about the epic court case between Swatch Group versus Vortic watches. As many of you may or may not know, the Swatch Group was suing Vortic. You may not know because a lot of the industry media didn't want to touch it because A, the court case wasn't over and finished yet, and B, the Swatch Group does pay a lot of the bills of the magazines, the blogs, the YouTubers, and things like that, so they did not want to bite the hand that fed them. You could take a look at that video. I left the link in the description below for that video I did with Rob. So, two days ago, I got an email from RT from Vortic that simply said, we won and it had the ruling of the court case in that email. I was literally cheering out loud for my good friend RT. The court case in a short version is that Vortic takes 100, 120 year old pocket watch movements made by some of the legendary pocket watch brands made in America back in the turn of the century. They take those movement styles and hands, they put them in their own cases along with USA made straps and buckles and they've got a brand. The long story short, and I'll let RT tell you, but Swatch was suing Vortic for using the Hamilton brand name. That said, I reached out to RT and said, we've got to get on a Zoom call, we've got to shoot a video together and tell the world that Vortic beat Swatch or David beat Goliath. So sit tight, relax, enjoy this video. I sat this morning with RT to talk about the court case. Enjoy. So RT, welcome back to the Watch With Us channel on, on so, like an amazing, amazing, uh, I guess couple days now. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming on, buddy. Dude, thanks so much for having me. And, and I, like I said, I, I can't thank you enough for just your consistent support through this whole time. Um, you've been just uh, amazing. So appreciate it. Yeah, hey, look, man, I appreciate you. I mean, let's, let's, let me dive into a little bit of a backstory for everybody who's watching. Uh, RT Custer is a very dear friend of mine. Um, I, I have said this many times. He's one of the nicest, most genuine human beings I've ever met. And I truly mean that. And um so RT is the founder and owner uh, or partner in the Vortic Watch Company, uh, founded by he and a friend in, I believe, 2014. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So they basically source and refurb antique pocket watch movements, American-made pocket watch movements from the late 1800s into the early 1900s. They encase them in their own cases that are made in uh, Colorado with uh, American-made parts, American-made straps, buckles, things like that. So they basically repurpose or upcycle very vintage uh, pocket watches into fantastic wrist wrist watches, which I'm wearing one now. Mm -hmm. So that's the very short backstory. And in 2015, as a very young company, you got something that must have been uh, probably earth-shattering, scary, uh, terrifying, which was a cease and desist by one of the largest conglomerates if not the largest largest conglomerate in the watch industry correct yeah may 2015 uh cease and desist from the swatch group with regards to what um so basically we salvage old pocket watches like you said some of them have most of them have the original brand on the dial one of the great american watch companies from 100 years ago was called the hamilton watch company um, and that brand is now owned by the swatch group so hamilton international um, sued Vortec Watch Company um, for trademark infringement and counterfeiting. Right. So Hamilton was originally based here in the United States uh, many, Lancaster, many years ago. Correct. Yeah. And you actually grew up in the shadows of the original factory. Is that right? Yeah, literally. My, my dad lives in Hamilton Park. Um, you can walk from his house to, uh, to the factory. Right. So now, uh, re- well, I guess, uh, well, back in the 80s or so, it was acquired by a holding company that it had turned into the Swatch Group and is naturally now the Hamilton Watch Company, which probably I'd, I'd say that most of our viewers know very well about. Mm-hmm. So, so the cease and desist was basically a lawsuit saying stop selling Hamilton watches, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, with what we do, the, the Hamilton brand um, in, in what we call the Lancaster. So we name 
the watches, the Vortec watches, based on where the antique movement was made. So we called that model the Lancaster. It says Hamilton right on the dial. Obviously, it doesn't look like a modern Hamilton. Um, right. It's 100 years old, et cetera, et cetera. But because it says Hamilton on the dial, and we used, um, in their words, in their eyes, we used their name uh, in advertising and to make money, um, they didn't want me to do that anymore. Right. So, you know, the one, the one thing that you and I have been talking about since early, early on is the fact that you're obviously not promoting and trying to sell, let's say in this case, a, a, an authentic new Elgin, right? Or an authentic new Hamilton, or, or it was very, very obviously, and obviously visually, but also stated in all of your advertising, all of your website product pages, uh, all of your social media and all of your uh, traditional media, that yep. these are 80 to 120 year old vintage movements and dials and hands. And, um, but Hamilton still didn't like that. Swatch still did not like that, correct? Yeah, I mean, so we got the cease and desist. To be honest, I thought it was a mistake um, or just a mis miscommunication or misunderstanding or something like that because in, in May of 2015, we still had yet to make a watch. We hadn't shipped a product to a customer. We, we launched on Kickstarter in November 2014, and we didn't really ship watches until late 2015. It took us a long time to, to figure that out. You guys know Kickstarter. It, it's very normal, especially back then. It takes a while to do all the stuff we do. Um, and so I was, I was just very confused and, uh, um, I, and, 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 you know, like you said, I, I grew up near Lancaster. I, I, I love history. I love the history of Hamilton watch company. They were the watch that won the war. I mean, it, you'd be pressed to, to find a, a guy in his twenties who knows more about the history of American watches. Right. And right. so, and, and loves it. Right. Like I just, I love like, it. I'm passionate like about it. You could have you could have easily gone to work for the Hamilton Watch Company as their historian. So if you know I mean? could today, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, so so I just I, I put all that in a letter and 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 went on LinkedIn and I found every person with a C level title in their name at Hamilton and at Swatch and I said, hey, my name's RT. I'm like 24 years old. <laughs> I started this company. The whole purpose is to preserve American history and tell the story of your brand and to celebrate the heritage of your company. I'd like to be friends. I don't know where this is coming from. Right. Can, can we chat? Like that's basically what I said from the beginning. And that was my constant message throughout the last five years. Even just a few months ago, I sent another letter to, to Nick at Swatch, you know, CEO. Yeah. Um, yeah. It said the same thing. I was just like, hey, like before we go to trial, are we really sure we want to spend six figures of, of both of our money doing this? What if we just had a conversation over a cup of coffee, you know, and figured something out. And, and unfortunately none of those were met with any kind of amicable solution. Um, and it proceeded uh, towards trial from there. Right. So I remember uh, at the most recent one and wow, naturally the last one uh, or this one that should have happened is, is probably canceled because of COVID. But I remember the last one that actually took place, um, you know, you were there displaying and you were being interviewed by John Scott of the Fox News Channel right there in the middle of Warren and Wound. Yeah, it was pretty you know, cool. It had some, you had, we had an amazing story here, right? Amazing, like you're, you're, as we kind of did a video back many months ago here on the Watch With Us channel was that David versus Goliath. And naturally you being David and Swatch Group being Goliath. And we, you know, Rob, Spanish Rob and I spoke about it and, um, and, other than that, and possibly outside of watch industry news, nobody heard a peep about this story. And it, it, it drove me personally bananas because this could have this, this court case has much further ramifications above and beyond Vortic, right? Like, so naturally, if Swatch won, Vortic would pretty much be history. It would be my guess. I mean, as a small company, it'd be very hard to overcome a lawsuit like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah it, it would have meant bankruptcy and best case reorganization, which, um, but which, it, it would yeah. have crushed the entire business model of uh, pocket watch conversion if we would have lost. Correct. And, and, and naturally that alone is newsworthy. But then if you took that, that the ramifications from that and took it a step further within the watch industry, there are companies out there 
entrepreneurs and, and artists who are out there acquiring vintage watches or pre-owned watches and, you know, whether they be in, engraving the cases and bracelets and reselling them or um, doing some kind of special dial work and reselling them, making them their own. Um, you know, companies like that, would have, it would have been fair game. It would have been open season on any company that did anything of that nature, correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's um, basically we, we felt as though we're protecting the, the repurposing or upcycling industry. Right. Um, and, and this case, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not an attorney, but, but my attorneys ha have told me um, Hamilton v. Vortic will be cited in many, many future <laughs> cases that involve upcycling, refurbishing, repurposing, especially in the watch and jewelry industry, sure. but in others too. Yeah. So one of, one of my dreams, and this is kind of a, a um, one of the best examples I was trying to explain to somebody who's not in the watch industry, doesn't follow the watch industry. One of my dreams is to own a resto modded 1966 to 69 Mustang. Yep. What resto mod means is you basically take a modern car, like you, you have modern drivetrain, modern interior, modern technology with Bluetooth and navigation, uh, anti-lock brakes, airbags and all that stuff. And in, and build it upon a vintage Mustang chassis and body. So yeah. from the exterior, it looks like a 1967 Mustang or whatever the case may be. But once you get inside of it, once you drive it, it's a brand new car. And that is like a, that's a Tesla that's a, on the inside or something. Correct. Yeah. Like just yeah. just bananas, maybe even electric. But sure. but the bottom line is like that's a personal dream of mine. Your yep. case, if you lost your case. Car, car companies that are t resto modding cars and making them their own could easily be wiped out based on your case. So the, the ramifications are far, far outside of the watch industry, which circles me back to the watch industry press, who I am friends with so many of them, and many of them are very dear friends, but nobody would touch this case, and it drove me bananas. The reason being is that the Swatch Group pays a big portion of their ad dollars, so I do understand where they're coming from. For sure, as do so, I. I'm wondering now if the case is over, will they, will they pursue it? Um, and, and knowing that the judgment just came down a few days ago, which we'll talk about in just a moment, um, but knowing that the judgment just came down, have you been in touch with other watch industry press and, and are they more receptive to it now than they were before? Uh, short answer is yes. Um, we, we just sent the, the news releases out first thing this morning. So okay. um, there's still a lot of, of work to be done with that. Okay. Um, the, the major reason that most of the watch press but to, couldn't cover it, um, besides what you just said, um, which, is, which is fair, and I think we both, we both get it, right? I mean, yeah. I, I think Spanish Rob in, in the last video said, don't bite the hand that feeds you. And that's, 100%. that's certainly a great point. And so none, no, no hard feelings in that way in any means. But a lot of the people that I talked to, they said, hey, the, while the court case is going on and there's no finality, it's not over, there's no judgment, it's hard to write about a court case without it, it being perceived that you're taking one side or the other. Okay, that makes now, a lot of sense. Yeah, so now if, if anyone, you know, Hodinkee, Watch Time, anybody shares this news, that's all they're doing. They're just sharing the news. They're, they're not, they, they don't have to use our press release. Sure. They, they can, they can call Swatch and Hamilton and say, Hey, you know, what's up with this? They can literally go on the U S federal justice systems website and do all their own exactly research. Exactly what the judge said and just quote the judge. And that's not taking a side in any way. It's just reporting the news. And so I think to answer your question, I hope that now it can just be news and not opinion. I hope so as well. So, you know, I've, I've kind of reached out to a handful, which I'm sure that you guys and, uh, and your team have already done as well. But I'm, I'm hoping that we see, I'm hoping we see this everywhere because uh, A, it's, it's, it is a huge case. It's, it's far bigger than most people just see on the surface of reading the court documents. Um, yeah. but, but secondly, look, you, you've built a business that nobody else is doing. Um, you've, you've taken that American ingenuity that, you know, that creativity and you're creating products that, you know, you're not going to find anywhere else. And I've always contested and I contested in the video I did with Rob is that, you know, my argument is that you're going by, by Vortic doing what you're doing, you guys are going to bring so much more brand awareness to companies like uh, Hamilton, as well as the other historic companies. Sure. 
a lot of people might know of these companies or might have heard or, or be fans of these companies, but a lot of people, I would argue, don't know what a deep, rich history these companies have. And I think personally, as I said, you know, many times publicly, is that I think you guys will be doing justice to uh, and a service to to brands like Hamilton. So um, it's all yeah, it's all good stuff. That's the goal. I mean, like I said, the, 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 the why, the purpose of Vortec Watch Company is to preserve American history one watch at a time. And that's what we do. I mean, it's, it's it. that simple. Um, and yeah, we are, we're celebrating the heritage of, of those com- companies. And every time I talk to somebody like you, I end up telling a story about one of those antique companies sure. that, that people don't know. And, you know, one good example is, is the ball watch company. I mean, you know, they make modern watches, um, great watches, and, right? And fantastic watches. And they, I think of all of the, the companies that have been like purchased and, and remade and kind of like restored um, the, the modern ball watch, co- watch company, I think they, uh, they do the best job at really like honoring the heritage. I mean, all their right. watches are named like, you know, engineer and rail mat, all that kind of stuff. It's beautiful. And, and the original ball watch company from Cleveland, Ohio did not make very many pocket watches. I mean, hundreds of thousands instead of millions, millions. like the other brands. And so we therefore can't and, and won't be able to make very many Vortic what we call the Cleveland or it has an antique right. ball movement in it. And I've had customers reach out and say, Hey, can you make a ball uh, pocket watch conversion for me? And I say, you know, here's the prices, here's all the stuff here. We, we don't have very many, so they're kind of expensive. And, and, and if, and if they can't do it or they, they're not going to do it, I say, Hey, if you like their branding and their history and everything, maybe you should buy a modern one because sure. honestly, like I want to, you know, when I have some <laughs> right. money to buy my own, like I'm going to buy a modern ball watch. They're, they're fantastic. They're well-made. And right. I've had customers do that with ball with Hamilton. You know, that's, that's um, the other thing it's, is it's it, a thing. It's always been my, my feeling that it would be great for you to actually go work with ball or Hamilton yeah. on, on creating a product that honors the history in conjunction with these brands, not as opposed to against these brands. And, um, you know, so, so let's get into the judgment. So yeah, I, as I mentioned to you before we got on camera, I got an email from you. I think it was Saturday. Um, really late Saturday night after yeah. a couple of whiskeys. So there was, well, I, I have to be honest with you. I was probably, <laughs> I was probably a beer or two in myself, but it was, it was probably the first time in a very, very long time that I read an email and made a loud verbal noise in reaction <laughs> to it, right? Like, I was like, I swear, I was like, woo you know, in my house, my wife, my wife was like, what, what what's is wrong? wrong with you? Yeah. And I'm like, hold on, I have to read this. So I had to read it more to, to fully yeah. absorb it. And, yeah. and I, dude, when I tell you it was, I, it could have been me winning a case. I was so excited for you. So kind of give us yeah. a rundown of of what the judgment was and, and what this means for Vortic going forward. Yeah. So uh, Hamilton watch company sued us um, and accused us of um, counterfeiting and trademark infringement. Um, all the things we talked about, basically they didn't want us to take anti Hamilton pocket watches and turn them into wrist watches. We got a cease and desist at first. And so we did, we stopped making what we call the Lancaster just out of respect for the court system, not because we had to, but because we just wanted to, you know, give everything due process. Right. And hopefully hopefully it would have settled itself and you could have continued on. Sure. And again, I wanted to do it in good faith. I was sending emails and letters to all of them. I wanted them to to trust me and say like, Hey, I'm, I'm willing to do this if you're, you know, like, and and that started a good, good conversation at some point. But anyway, one thing to um, interject here really quickly is that you and I have been talking about this and, you know, for a few years now. And, and one thing that you kept mentioning to me was, you know, I'd love to sit with them and let them know what I'm doing and let's come to a fair agreement between the two of us. Um, and I know that you had tried many times. I know that when we went to Basel, uh, we were there together and you tried to have a sit down with Nick Hayek or anybody else within the Swatch group to have this and, conversation. Anyone that would let me talk and, to them. Yeah. And nobody yeah. Was, was, was receptive to it. And they just kept pushing you to the courts, pushing you towards set, I mean, to, towards a uh, trial and things like that. So, yeah. so it wasn't for a lack of you trying to, uh, settle in good faith and, and things for like sure. that. So, yep. Yeah. Um, and, and they took a hard line on it, which, you know, honestly, they can, they have sure. billions of dollars and lots of time. And so I, I, again, in the same, same way, we just talked about the press not covering it. I don't, I don't really have any hard feelings against Swatch or Hamilton for the way they handled it. It's probably their corporate policy to do what they did to me. Right. It's just, it's just how they do things, which is what it is really. Um, but long story short, um, the judge 
sided with the defendant, Vortic, on all claims and literally said case closed. She closed the case, which is in, in itself pretty rare because um, usually there's, you know, when you, when you side with one side on, on all counts, you know, there's other conversations that need to happen, you know, all this stuff. They, they does, this, can, does this mean that they can't appeal it? They can appeal it, yeah. Okay. Um, so they have 30 days to file an appeal. Um, I've, I've been advised that it, it would be unwise of them to appeal given the, the absolute finality um, and complete one-sidedness of the judge uh, towards Vortec. Right. Um, basically, for lack of better words, just throwing the whole thing out. Um, and that's why it was so exciting to me. And obviously, that's what I shared in, in the email to you. And, um, and what we've been trying to share in the press release is that it is extremely rare that a judge, um, especially a federal judge in a big case with this much precedent, um, doesn't at least give one side a little bit of something. Right. She just went full <laughs> on. Smashed biggest, it. Biggest fan of Vortec, waving the flag on our side. Um, hardcore. Um, this is, we won, you know, and that's, that was the, I think that was the subject of my email is just, we won. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. So. And, and literally when I, when I, when I saw who the sender was and the subject matter, that's, I think that's when that, that, you know, uh, it, 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 that spontaneous burst came out of my face, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the, the, the first time that I, I started getting emotional about it is when, uh, Tara, our publicist, and I were, were basically writing the headline or the, the main subject line of the press release. Um, and it's, you know, basically um, Vortic Watch Company wins landmark lawsuit against Swatch Group brand Hamilton. Huge. Case closed. Defendants Huge. win on all counts. Like just <laughs> like, like, period. Big yeah, gas yeah. period at the end. Right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Complete blowout, shutout, you know, end of the third period, clock's done. <laughs> you know, there's that, no way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, well, so anyway, they, they, they can appeal um, and they might, you know, yeah. um, it's, it's, it's theirs to, to lose at this point as far as if they want to do that. Right. So, um, so obviously the judgment uh, gives you a level of comfort that, you know, you're in the right here and that you can proceed and not, and not have so many sleepless nights about the outcome of this thing. Yeah. Somebody asked me uh, last night, um, you know, what, what my day was going to be like today and if I was going to celebrate and if it was going to be whatever. And I, and I was like, you know what, Monday, this Monday is, um, is going to be a normal day. You know, I'm going to sit down and answer my emails. I'm going to, you know, have some, some interviews with some people and, yep. and have conversations about this obviously, but like, my my week this week especially is a normal week yeah. except um for me it's a new normal because um <laughs> in, in the I, good I sense don't, in a very good sense because yeah. um what what a lawsuit like this is to the entrepreneur who by the way i was personally named on the lawsuit they did yeah. not sue vortic they sued vortic watch company and robert thomas custer specifically yeah. um That's and scary, so man. What that is to, to me as the entrepreneur is just an unending burden or weight of anxiety of any right. day, any time I could lose everything that I've worked for my entire adult life. Yeah. And, and, and that's some real shit, John. Like that's <laughs> like, I'm with you, and, man. And when without having that weight on me, um, anything is possible. I'm just happy. Bro, honest, let me answer your question. Let me tell you, it's the way I see it. And the first thing I thought of uh, as you were kind of just started that last segment there is today. Today is the first day of the future of Vortec. It's, yeah. it's I mean, it's got to be so liberating. And if I mean, as a very similar guy to you, right, like I'm an entrepreneur, I, I really don't live by others rules with regards to business. I do what what is in my heart. And that's what that's the way I view you to be. You know, I can only imagine the amount of excitement, the amount of drive, the amount of creativity and energy that you have now. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be great for you to harness all that and just put it into your brand and your product and your message and your, and your you know, your outreach. So, uh, yeah. you know, well, I'm, you I'm, I'm super stoked to just kind of be along as a, as a buddy and a close uh, observer on this ride. Yeah. Well, and you know what, John, it's, um, what it really is, what it really means to me is it's validation. Yeah. Um, because I knew we were right. I knew we didn't do anything wrong. I knew I didn't do anything illegal. Yeah. Um, I, I knew I was building a good company and filling it with great people. Um, but to have a federal judge 
tell me that, um, quoting me. She quoted me from my testimony at trial multiple times in that ruling. I saw it. Um, and, and in a very, very good way, you know, she all but called me a good person, uh, like <laughs> you did. Which um, you are, brother. It's just, it's ultimate validation yeah. and, and it's freedom. It's freedom to, like you said, go and, and begin the rest of my life and the rest of my company um, yeah. and, and celebrate with my team, um, yeah. which they all, you know, they, all my, they all deserve yeah, it, man. They, they deserve it. And they deserve the, the removal of the weight of this anxiety too. Cause I've, you know, I've internalized a lot of it and I've protected my team and my business partner, Tyler, like we, he and I sat down when this all started and, and said, Hey, Tyler, you, you focused on, on the home front, you know, keep making watches, make sure everybody's happy, just positive, positive, go, 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 just keep the business going. And anything, any email, any press, anything we get about the lawsuit, I'll just, I'll take it. And, and, yeah. and, and, and I think that was a very wise, uh, mature decision that he and I made. Um, I think it's, as, I think it's a very good, it's a great strategy because, you know, I don't have that partner. So it would be hard for me to do my daily routine and, and to exactly. keep customers happy and keep my product going if I had that weight as well. So there's a super strategy on your part, your part, obviously yeah. it worked very well. Um, you know, and, and he's got to be feeling just as liberated and as excited as you as well as uh, Tara and, oh. and you know, oh, the investors yeah, yeah. and everybody else, man. It's, uh, I'll tell you what, if, if, if it were easy for me to jump on a plane to get out there to celebrate with you, I totally would right now, but uh, uh, we're, we'll, we'll find a way to celebrate. Uh, yeah. And, you know. and I keep telling you, I want to come out there and go to Red Rocks for a good concert. So maybe we'll do it whenever, uh, whenever, whenever they start up. Those things are things again. Uh, yeah, man. Yes, yes, yeah, man. Yeah. So, uh, so you have any uh, vortex with Hamilton movements and dials that are in the, in the plans at the moment? Um, there is a watch in the workshop that it's just a pocket watch movement dial in hands. Um, it was made by Hamilton. It was one of the best highest quality ones ever made. And it's in a little aluminum tin and it has the word victory on it. Sweet. Um, and so that watch will be the first watch, uh, that we call the Lancaster or Hamilton pocket watch right. miniature wristwatch, yeah. uh, that we make now after judgment day after victory. Um, Sweet. and, and we can do, we can do that now. So we're going to start making Sweet. Lancaster. Um, well, I'll tell you that, that first one, awesome. that first one, maybe you should send it over to, uh, to Nick Hayek. <laughs> you know, here don't you go, buddy. Bear, no, nah, don't, let's no, not, we're not poking anybody. Let's, <laughs> no hard feelings, but, pal. Let's, you know, this is my wait till, <laughs> Yeah, let's wait till day 31. Let's see if okay. they appeal first before All we right. have any but of those conversations. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing those being made. And, uh, and, and you got a customer in me for one of those for sure, buddy. For sure. Yeah. And, cool. and I'm, I'm excited about all that stuff. And, and I'm just, I'm excited about, you know, um, like you said, just, just moving forward and, and doing, we, we have so many big things planned besides, you know, just, just making pocket watches and wristwatches. And uh, this lawsuit was, um, you know, first of all, if you have a federal lawsuit pending against your company, you can't get investors. You can't yeah. get bankers to, to invest in your, your, you can't like, get a financially. loan. You can't get a loan for a building. You can't get a loan. No, for I, and, I, and I was able to just because, because I was so transparent about it, you know, right. like we got a huge SBA loan late last year. Yep. And the first thing I said was, Hey, here's my loan application. Here's everything. We're profitable. We're making money. We are absolutely worthy of this loan. By the way, we're getting sued by the world's largest watch company. It's okay. <laughs> here's the plan. It's going to be fine. Yeah. And thank God that, and I went, I had to go to tw the, the problem is to get that loan. I had to go to 20 different banks yeah. and, and convince at least one of them to take a flyer on me. And well, I want to know who that banker is for future reference. <laughs> yeah. First, first advantage bank of Colorado. You got it. Um, for, you know, uh, like pro drops. tip work, work for small work with small local banks. That's, yeah. that's my, that's my biggest, biggest thing. Cause yeah, Chase and the other ones, they, uh, they're like, yeah, Definitely. no, yeah, yeah no, we're good. good. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But, but, but we laugh about it, but it's true. I mean, that's, that's part of the anxiety, you know, you need sure. money to grow business. Um, and if you can't get, if you can't get funding, you know, um, it, it makes everything harder. And so um, I've had to hustle for all that stuff. Yeah, man. Um, and, and, and yeah, it's, it's created a lot of issues that we've had to solve. Yeah, for sure. And, and look, I, I, I couldn't applaud you more for doing it, man. I mean, the amount above and beyond the lawsuit and all the, all the stress and, and everything you've had to deal with on that front, 
the brand has just been pumping out some fantastic watches, some great projects. You recently gave a big fat check to the veteran watch watchmakers initiative. I mean, you guys have been like, they're, they're getting another one in a couple months. We're you, going, yeah. The second edition of the, the military edition comes out veterans day, November 11th. Ridiculous. So, I mean, like it's, it's not even like you guys were surviving through this. You were like thriving through this and, um, and good on you, man. Congratulations. And uh, it just, it literally is a testament to, to you, to, to Tyler, the, to the team about your passion, your drive, your vision and all that stuff. And uh, again, I'm just, I'm super stoked to be, uh, to be just even friends with you guys. And, uh, and, and look, I want everybody watching this, every single person watching this, go follow Vortic, you know, check out their watches, follow their projects, even above and beyond just the watches they're making. You know, you guys are doing some amazing things. And I, for one, I'm super stoked about what's going to happen over the next few months after this huge, enormous anchor is kind of like cut free from you guys. I'm super stoked too. And yeah, like I said, it's just, it, there's, there's so much potential. There's so much we can do. Um, and I am honored and proud that, that I get to run Vortec watch company every day from now on. Proud of you, brother. So Thank let's do, know. let's do this. If you don't mind, send me a link to the actual judgment. That's anywhere. If you have one, I will put it in the description below so everybody can get to read it and, yep. um, and anything else that you want to send over, we'll put links below for anybody and everybody to follow you on social, to visit your website, to email you guys if they have questions and, and let's look forward to man, the future starting, starting today, the future of Vortic. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much. We'll send you all that stuff. We'll put it all there. And um, yeah, th I, oh. I just can't thank you enough. And you mentioned to me right before we got back online. So you got interviewed by John Scott at uh, the Warren and Wound show. And as we were about to hit record on this, uh, you, you got a text from Tara that John's gonna, getting on a plane to come out there and interview for Fox News. Sounds, right? Yeah. Don't want to jinx it. You know, oh, knocking on wood sorry here, about but, that. But, yeah, I don't want to jinx it. But, it sounds it sounds like we got the attention of some big some big press and so, if that um, if that yeah, happens yeah. make sure uh for you viewers make sure you're following rt social and vortex social because i'm sure that he will post a link to that uh interview sure. as well so yeah. great stuff Thanks, brother sure. super happy for you i'm i'm gonna be riding this high for the next few days uh myself <laughs> just yep. you know you know you know you know how it is like you find out some great news and you're personally excited this, this isn't, didn't even happen to me, and I'm just – I'm so excited for you guys, man. Yeah, oh, thanks so much. I'm excited right. too, and I'm sure we'll be in touch. Absolutely. So thank you guys for watching. Congratulations to RT, to Tyler, to Tara, to the rest of the team. Uh, we're, we're all super happy for you guys. All right? Thank and, you. Uh, thank thanks you. again for joining, bud. Talk to you soon. All right, cheers.